Yellowstone on edge, 200 earthquake swarms detected after Russia's 8.8 .8 megaquake is the supervolcano. Speaking up. Yellowstone National Park is once again making headlines. As reports pour in of over 200 earthquake swarms rumbling beneath the park's surface, it's days after a devastating magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake struck off the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia. The massive quake, which triggered global seismic waves, has raised alarms among volcanologists and emergency agencies alike. But the biggest shock came from beneath the American West, where the Earth appears to be answering back. Seismic. Echoes across the globe. The 8.8 .8 magnitude quake that struck Kamchatka on July 29, 2025, sent seismic ripples through the Earth's crust, detectable across continents. Within 48 hours, monitoring stations at Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO began detecting unusual seismic behavior. Clusters of small quakes near Norris Geyser Basin, the Upper Geyser Basin, and even beneath Yellowstone Lake. The week over 200 earthquakes had been logged some in tight swarms, others more spread out. Most were small, with magnitudes ranging from M1.2 to M3.5. Twakes struck at M4.1, deep beneath the western caldera boundary. USGS volcanologists have since confirmed the swarm labeling it significant, but not unprecedented. Still, it's the timing of this activity immediately following the Kamchatka megaquake that has set off alarm bells among the scientific community. Hydrothermal explosions raise the stakes. As if the earthquakes weren't enough. Multiple? Hydrothermal explosions were detected in Yellowstone's active thermal areas, particularly around the Biscuit Basin and mud volcano zones. One such explosion blasted a 15-meter-wide crater in a restricted thermal field, throwing rocks and boiling water across the fragile terrain. The blast, which occurred at night, damaged a section of the boardwalk and triggered automatic geothermal. Alarms? Rangers have since closed parts of the park to visitors. Citing danger from unstable ground, sudden steam venting, toxic gas release. These hydrothermal eruptions, often compared to nature's pressure cooker explosions, are not volcanic eruptions, but they are some of the most unpredictable and violent natural events known in geothermal zones. According to the USGS, hydrothermal explosions are fueled by superheated water trapped under pressure. When the seal breaks, it erupts violently without warning, hurling steam, mud, and debris hundreds of feet. Scientists alarmed is a magma cap pressurizing? Researchers at the USGS and Yellowstone Volcano Observatory are closely analyzing. GPS, deformation data, satellite NSAR readings, and gas emissions. Early models suggest a buildup of pressure within the shallow hydrothermal system, possibly due to deep magma movement or increased groundwater. Infiltration following the distant quake. Dr. Helena Strauss, lead volcanologist at the YVO, stated, While we cannot directly link the Kamchatka quake to Yellowstone's seismic activity, we are seeing patterns that suggest the hydrothermal system is reacting to deeper crustal stress. 
This is a situation we're monitoring 24 7 Wildlife. On the move? Tourists in panic. Visitors reported unusual animal behavior days before the largest of the hydrothermal explosions. Bison herds were seen migrating east. Elk were spotted crossing roads in droves. And birds went silent in the geyser basins. One camper told local news, it was like the animals knew something was wrong. The ground felt hot and steam vents were roaring louder than I've ever heard. <laughs> Tourist footage also captured geysers erupting in tandem Lone Star. Beehive and even Steamboat Geyser, the tallest geyser in the world, were reported to erupt within hours of each other. What happens if Yellowstone erupts? Yellowstone? It's one of the world's most monitored super volcanoes. Underneath the picturesque landscape lies a colossal magma chamber, 44 miles wide and several miles deep. If it were to erupt fully, it could blanket parts of the US in ash, will disrupt climate globally, and displace millions. But scientists stress, Yellowstone is not erupting. Yet, while hydrothermal explosions and earthquake swarms are concerning, they are not direct signs of an impending volcanic eruption. However, they are indicators that something is shifting beneath the caldera and that the system is restless. Current alert level, normal. For now, despite the flurry of headlines and social media speculation, the official USGS alert level remains at green, indicating normal activity for Yellowstone. Still, seismic teams remain on high alert. New equipment has been deployed to enhance monitoring across the park. Experts are urging the public to stay informed, not alarmed, and avoid spreading panic fueled by sensational videos. Final word, Yellowstone awakens but isn't erupting. While Yellowstone isn't blowing its top, Something is brewing beneath the surface and it demands respect. Whether this is the beginning of a long-term awakening or a short-term reaction to, global tectonic stress remains to be seen.